All right, Scorpio, what is going on for you? This is your September look ahead video. I hope everybody's doing great. Let's see what messages want to come through for you. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be talking a little bit about the astrology, uh, some main things that are happening. September is um, uh, going to be powerful. We do have an eclipse in September. That's in Pisces, another water sign. So that's trining you as a Scorpio, which is that that says to me something is trined. It's, it's an easy flowing energy, but you have to activate it to really get the benefit of it. So if you're having anything going on around the middle of September, that seems like a good thing. It's kind of like you got to lean into it. You got to step into it. Um, we also have some retrogrades happening. You know that Pluto has always, always, <laughs> well, it feels that way. <laughs> Pluto has been retrograding in Aquarius. It's now popping back into Capricorn on the first of the month. And Uranus is going retrograde on the first of the month in Taurus, which is your opposite sign. So let's see what the reading shows, and I will uh, pull from that information as I go. The astrological, astrological knowledge, earth energy, veiled transformation. It's your card, baby. That's your card. There's something here. There's more than meets the eye. OK, there's more than meets the eye here. I feel like some kind of opportunity is coming that you might not think of as a big deal. But I promise you that if you step into it, if you lean into it, it's going to show up for you in a big way. Um, there's it could be an opportunity for um, business advancement or some kind of personal will, some kind of um, power extension of you or something like that, that you're really being invited to um, step into your power here. Now, there can also be some things that are hidden from you uh, and you just kind of have to take a chance, take a risk. That's what you're so good at. I mean, Scorpio, that's one of your superpowers, even if you don't know it about yourself. Um taking risks because your opposite sign is Taurus and Taurus is all about safety. Don't do anything. Don't color outside the lines. But, you know, for you guys, real authenticity matters. And so sometimes you have to kind of go, well, go deep for sure. But sometimes you have to break a few eggs. You kind of have to step into some things to see if it's going to work for you or not. And I just feel like, um, you have, um, such a, this is okay. I'm, I'm getting, this is a lot of past life, um, knowledge, past life, um, superpowers. Um, okay. This seems a little bit, um, amorphous to me as I'm saying this, but there, there can be you like opening up to some kind of spiritualness, all right, whether it's clairaudient, clairsentient, clairvoyant, claircognizant, whatever, whatever it is, there's some kind of nebulousness to why you know that this is the direction to go in. Like you don't know how you know, but you just know. And I feel like that's worth the risk. I do feel like leaning into whatever you are getting the inkling to go toward is a good thing. Um, it is at the very least going to change you. And, you know, Scorpio, you're all about transformation. So, hey, let's give it a shot, right? Let's give it a shot. All right, let's see where we're going with the reading. Let's see where we're going with the reading, my darling. Okay, keep shuffling, Mary Jo. That earth energy, I just feel like there's something buried that is going to be unearthed. All right, there's something undercover. You kind of have to trust your intuition this month more, probably more than... Um, more than usual. Okay. Yeah. Eight of swords. This is about mindset. Some of you are holding yourself back because you think you should, or you think that if I do take a risk, it's going to end badly. Or there's something about that that just w is warning you off. But there's a deep wellspring here because she's standing on the water. She's standing on her feelings. 
Uh, water usually signifies feelings as opposed to thinking her way through this. She's got to feel her way through this. And that's for you. Got to really feel your way through it. The Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, the Six of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Magician. I'm going to take this King of Wands, all right? Because I feel like this is, this is about you taking action on your own behalf, regardless of your mindset. Now, this could be family-driven. What I mean by that is you have some kind of mindset that came from outside sources rather than coming from your intuition. This is a mindset that says um, that otherizes people or that says don't trust your intuition, only trust the family or something like that. And I feel like you're breaking that code. Okay. You're breaking through that six of wands. Good deal. Some of you are very, very magical. And that's been something that's really been um, discouraged in your life. I feel like some of you have real opportunities to become more and more magical. You can unearth these qualities, these tendencies, these capabilities. And this is going to step you into some kind of power position. Okay, that's all happening under the surface. I like, there's so much under the surface here. To access it, you've got to get out of um, a, um, a mindset that's keeping you small. Lovers, I saw this while I was shuffling. Lovers, woo, king of pentacles, hanged man. Two of pentacles, lots of waiting here. Hanged man, two of pentacles, empress, five of wands, world. Woo, five of swords, ace of cups. I feel like you don't trust. There's a person, there's a person around you that you don't trust or they don't trust anybody. They don't trust anybody. All right. They're always, they're needing to look at people in a different light. They're needing to learn to trust their intuition. This could be your lesson as well. I feel like there are this, this five of wands and this five of swords, some kind of competitiveness around you too. So this could be a work situation where you have some choices that are facing you and you're just being super hesitant about them. Like you're waiting for another person to come in. I don't feel like you should wait. Okay. I'm getting the feeling that you are unearthing your own king of pentacles and you're becoming the king of pentacles if you choose. But there's definitely some mindset here that's holding you back. This is a little concerning though, <laughs> this five of swords and this ace of cups. So I'm trying to determine, I feel like there are people standing in the way of you and another person, you and a king of pentacles, or you're the king of pentacles and it's the empress. There's some kind of love connection here or, um, you know, partnership connection. Doesn't have to be love. It can be about money. It can be about unearthing bar some kind of buried treasure, like you're kind of waiting um, but I feel like this reading is saying, go for it, right? Like don't wait on some other person. You have the ability to unearth this treasure yourself. And this five of wands and this five of swords makes me feel like there's other people standing in the way of it. And it's kind of like you guys or you are letting that happen, letting other people dictate your actions or what you're going to do with your life or the next direction or the next choice, kind of waiting for somebody to make their decision. But I just get this feeling, you know, I've had this in some other readings in set for September that that kind of action, meaning inaction is not what is supposed to happen is not what you're supposed to be doing. In order to get to the other side, in order to connect with whatever energy is trying to come into you, I feel like you really need to step into this magician energy. 
step into who you are. Magician is one, single, right? So if you're single and you're like waiting on a love partner to get their shit together or you're waiting on some offer or whatever it is, I really, I really feel like um, the offer is coming to you anyway. Ace of Cups here, you know, whether it's this person or not, you're destined and fated for this direction, this, um, this kind of buried treasure. You're destined and fated for it. So like start digging, okay? Don't wait for somebody to get their act together. Don't wait for it because I see here that it is coming anyway. And there might be, let's clarify this five of wands, just one each, five of wands and five of pentacles. What is this five of wands about? It's kind of like, this is how you were trained to wait on somebody else making some decision, but I don't really feel like it has much to do with you um, moving forward. I, I see you as this king of wands, like really stepping into it and there's something here that you have to dig for or you have to go seek out yourself. So this five of wands, it's a judgment, judgment call. No, it's a, it's like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a um, diversionary tactic. Like you're putting your attention towards something that's just wasting your time. Five of swords. And it's like other people, yeah. You're putting your attention towards something that other people want you to be distracted. There's there's a sense of like, you know, you're you're really leaning into it. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna win. You're gonna, you're gonna get the big prize. You're going to uncover some idea that's gonna make you a lot of money. And other people are like, um, let's try to slow them down. Let's try to slow them down. Let's try to slow them down. Why? Does it matter? I don't think so. I don't think it matters why. It might be different for each one of you um, why someone would want to slow you down. But see, this is what I'm getting here, that you're getting what you want anyway. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> that you're going to get what you want. You're going to identify this idea that's going to be your business or that's going to bring you, you know, a lot of money. You're going to see it. Because I feel like this almost is enlightenment. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it's waiting. Like in the initial part of this reading, I felt like that might be waiting with the two of pentacles here. And other people are, are hitting the brakes or something like that. If you have put out some kind of offer to another person to build some kind of business together or to go in a certain direction and they're hesitating, that is not an indicator that it is not a good idea. That is an indicator that they have a lot of stuff going on in their life that really isn't um, germane. I hardly ever use that word, but isn't relevant to your situation. It's noise. Okay. It's just noise. And they might be distracted by that, or they might go in that direction uh, much later, much later, two of pentacles. I feel like this person is a late adopter. If you've ever heard anything about, um, this is, this is a, sort of a sales thing or it's a software thing. I don't know where this comes from, but I'm sure some of you do that there are early adopters and there are people who wait around to see if something is successful before jumping on board. And that's not you. You are definitely a risk taker, <laughs> even if you don't know it. If you have Scorpio energy or significant Scorpio energy, like a lot of your um, a lot of your planets are Scorpio or your ascendant Scorpio, especially, uh, then you are you are about going for the real thing. When something's real to you, you're going to choose to go for it. And that's what I see here. If this is a potential love partner and they are hesitating because of family or because they're in another situation or whatever, I just feel that you're like, you know what? You do you, but by the time you come up for air, I might be gone. So that's totally up to you. All right. And I just feel like no matter what, you're going to get the prize. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you want. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So let's continue, Scorpio. Let's keep going, Scorpio. <laughs> That's a good indicator. My nose started running. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's going on here? That feels, it felt a little bit to me like there was some kind of rush of activity. 
And you're definitely not waiting around. I can feel that from you, whether you're this king of pentacles, king of wands, whatever you like, you got it going on. So I don't want anybody to deter you. There's almost this excitement, this energy of excitement. So let's keep moving forward. Let's take a deeper look. I'm going to look at what you don't see coming. Let's look at obstacles, give you some advice around how to, how to move forward. And we'll see where this goes. All right, Scorpio, September. Link is below if you want to continue with me. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.